Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. It's good to see you guys back here on the channel. I'm continuing on with another episode here in a discussion. We are looking at another movie from the Marlena Dietrich, Joseph von Sternberg. This uh, fantastic box set, uh, Paramount 1930-2035 from uh, Indicator. That's, uh, I've showed the box set before um, in the series. So next movie up in the box set is, of course, The Scarlet Empress. Here it is here, a uh, really cool, interesting cover art on this one. I'll stick in some close-ups um, inside. We have uh, another fantastic looking poster and the disc art there as well. Looks really cool. And all the usual info uh, you will need is on the back there. So um, let's get into this movie. Some technical things here. 1934, this one is 104 minutes. It's going to run 1.37 to 1 aspect ratio. Mono audio track on this, of course. Black and white again. And uh, I will mention this is a Region B Blu-ray release. So, of course, directed by Joseph von Sternberg. Your cast in this one includes Marlena Dietrich, who plays Sophia. Uh, John Lodge plays Alexi. Sam Jaffe plays Duke. And Louise Dresser is in there as well. Um, just a couple of notes on this one. Uh, once again, they've done a fantastic looking 4K restoration on this. Um, really, really looks good. There's some cool intertitles in there as well. I spoke about those before on some of the, some of the other videos. It kind of opens up with this uh, really interesting picture approved by the Production Code Administration Certificate Number Sixteen. Uh, so this is movie is not pre. It's you know it's it's post code uh, in the states. Really interesting, based on the diary of Catherine the Great as well. This one, there's some torture uh, execution scenes with nudity in them at the start of the movie, which was, really came as a surprise, especially being that picture approved by the by the code uh, Production Code Administration. Really interesting uh, early early film that sort of uh, those scenes got through and um, Marlena Dietrich once again makes her big entrance on a swing in a memorable big white dress really interesting looks cool again bright outfits and um, compared to others she really stands out uh, as usual in her movies here and um, there's some really crude miniatures and paintings used for the kind of journey to Russia um, in this one but again 1934 so what can we expect about this one um, Marlena Dietrich is in complete shock when she meets the Grand Duke who she's set to wed uh, it's quite uh, I thought that was quite interesting scene there um, and there's a really uplifting score at the beginning of this movie I felt um, you know kind of goes uh, a little darker uh, as the movie goes on um, I want to say it feels like it's a it has a very long setup it's about 40 minutes until the wedding actually happens in the movie, which I felt was quite long for like a hundred and four minute runtime. It's just forty minutes was a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a lengthy setup, uh, in my opinion. And anyway, uh, just checking this one out. Um, the sets look fantastic. I really enjoyed those. Um, really looks cool. Looks fantastic. There's some great lighting um, in the movie as well. Done a really fantastic job uh, on that one. Um, it sort of ends up with Marlena Dietrich sort of having uh, an affair to have a child um, and keeps her place quietly awaiting her takeover of the of the throne, as it were. Um, she kind of takes over the army at, at some point in the movie as well. And uh, the king... Um, the king sort of says she's gravely ill to get rid of her. Um, this, you know, who she's married earlier on in the movie. And uh, there's a really interesting line. There is no emperor, only an empress. And then the horses storming inside the palace at the end of the movie. is really interesting scene and the thunderous noise and stuff. It's really well done um, towards the end. Again, this might not be my favourite one out of the box set so far. Um, and I think back over the mall, I think Morocco is really one. I really enjoy it. Uh, looking back um, and Dishonored as well a little bit Shanghai Express was really cool um, Blonde Venus was the last one this is Scarlet Empress so we've one more left in the series here The Devil is a Woman so that will be the next uh, video coming up in a discussion here on the Movie Vault so that's going to do it for this quick video guys if you enjoy it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you wouldn't mind please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time I post a new video it really helps the channel grow and uh, thanks for your support so far here on the Movie Vault Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you on the next one